Candy Hearts versus Box of Chocolates. Hey Goldie Squad, it's Ruby, and happy Valentine's Day! I got these for you. It's time to boot up this pop battle! Our first Goldie Squad maker is Skylar. She wishes she had Cupid's job because she's all about spreading the love. Our second Goldie Squad maker is Sasha. She loves handing out homemade Valentine's in class, but likes receiving them even more. Now it's time to meet our lovely boss. So, Skylar, I love your robot. What's his name? Um, Heartbreaker. It's gonna break everyone's hearts. <laughs> What's the backstory behind your robot? Um, it's kind of sad. Well, my brother died and became an angel, and I loved him, and his favorite shape was hearts, so I put angel wings and a heart. So, yeah, I love angels. That's so happy. What do you love so much about Valentine's Day? Spreading the love. Spreading the love. Let's go over to our Golden Squad judges and see what they think of this heartbreaking robot. Okay, so I love that you absolutely went to town with the LEDs on this one. There's so much light, it's absolutely gorgeous. In my experience, chocolate tends to melt when you put a hot glue gun near it. So I was wondering how you got all those chocolates on there. You know, like the parchment paper and then cardboard? And then I put a little bit of like glue and then just glue it on there and just put it on top. It's really easy. That's incredible. I hope that it will break the hearts of the competition. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is a very cute robot. I see like the flower. Does it have a meaning to it or does it just, did you just put it there? Me and my brother love flowers, so I just popped a flower on there. I put like hot glue on it to make it, you know, like look at it had rain on it and everything. That is very creative of you. <laughs> Hi Skylar. Hello. I love your bot. It's super creatively done. You got to solder your motor, right? Yes. It was a pretty scary and fun experience. It was like the first time I was doing it, but it was really cool. I'm glad you liked it. You did a great job. Thank you. I also love that the thing that you love the most about Valentine's Day is spreading the love. That is what we're here to do. Yeah. <laughs> and I love that you live your life that way. That's just really inspiring. And <laughs> Thank you. How do you spread the love on Valentine's Day? Um, I give a lot of people hugs and I, and I like to compliment them. Just a sweet kid who just loves Valentine's kid. Day and spreading the love. Time to fall in love with our next robot. <laughs> Sasha, I love your robot. What's its name? It's called the Unicorns for Hearts. Why is your robot fighting Heartbreaker? So, the unicorns don't like chocolate because chocolate stole all the color out of their clouds. The unicorns had the candy hearts bring color back to the clouds. So they're trying to take the color back by uh, making their color go away. That's interesting. <laughs> Let's go to our Goldie Squad judges and see what they think of this candy heart masterpiece. So I absolutely love the aesthetic of this bot and those unicorns are really pretty. I was wondering how you made them. First I drew out the unicorns, then the laser cut I made them and they were super colorful and like rainbows, but then chocolates came and all their color was gone. Ooh. There's this really interesting like wrecking ball on your bot and I was curious what it was. When the unicorns are mad or sad or they have feelings that they don't want to have, then they kind of like cry into the little ball and as they get more like bad emotions, then the ball gets bigger. Are they ever going to get a chance to work through those feelings or is that just a giant ball of suppression? Eventually, when they feel better, like really, really happy, they go back and take some of the feelings out and then work and then quickly work through them and be like, and like destroy them. Okay, I feel better now. Yeah. Because if you just put all of your bad feelings, yeah, if you, take if you note, keep into them a in ball, there, eventually the ball it's will It's going to explode. Yeah, exactly. Everyone will suffer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was curious, what about Valentine's Day makes you happy and want to compete in this? That's a day when people are supposed to honor friendship. Basically, it means a day where people try to be their best and do as much as they can with other people. Awesome. I see a bunch of lights like sparkling from the clouds, which is really cute. What are the candy hearts attached to? Oh, they're attached to a little pillow, so they're always comfortable. And how long did it take you to glue all of those candy hearts? It, it took a long, long time, at, at least like 30 minutes. How did you, um, do the second platform, how is it, what's holding it up? I took three Jenga blocks and just hot glued them in there so they'd hold up the second platform. If you were to make one conversation heart and give it to your opponent, what would it say? It would say, 
We're still friends even if I win. I can tell there's a lot of love going around. Enough of that, this is a battle show. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go! Already off the bat, Box of Chocolate is going right at it. They're both going back and forth to get some momentum to push each other in. They're not feeling the love anymore, they're really going at it. Candy Hearts is just hitting. Oh! Will Box of Chocolates push Candy Hearts in? Slowly but surely, yeah. and... One last. No! And it's in the slow. No, it's not. It's just the. Well, the ball did touch the slime first, so Box of Chocolates is our official winner. <laughs> Make sure you leave a like and subscribe for new bot battles every single Saturday. And comment down below, what candy are you hoping to get this Valentine's Day? I'm Ruby Rails, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Jenga is property of Hasbro. See that red subscribe button? Seems like the perfect time to hit it. Did you do it? Boom. Done. Welcome to the Goldie Squad.